Holly Kula residents should remain vigilant of the Crater Road fire that's been burning on the slopes of Haleakala for almost a week. It is 80% contained and has so far scorched 574 acres. Chelsea Davis has the latest from Upcountry. Most of Crater Road is closed because firefighters are still battling that fire. I spoke with residents who live along this road who tell me it is re-traumatizing after what happened here less than a year ago. <laughs> mahalo, <laughs> mahalo firefighters. Oh yeah, that's a good one. The Tavares Ohana has lived along Crater Road in Kula since the 80s. Police came by Friday to warn them to get ready for a possible evacuation. Blessed that we are still here <laughs> and um, a little anxious because if it gets windy, we could have problems. You know, knock on every door and blow their sirens scared us, but we're here and grateful they did that. Also grateful that we had the firefighters and they are coming down the mountain exhausted. They were coming down at seven in the evening and dirty, sooty, and glad they're there to help us. Bulldozer crews have cut lines around 70% of the fire's four mile perimeter. Fire Chief Brad Ventura says the battle has been physically demanding on firefighters working to contain the fire in difficult terrain at about 7,000 foot elevation. The soil up there where there is is very, very soft. So the dozers um, had challenges just cutting fire lines. And the lines are so soft that we're unable to drive on them. So everybody's hiking on foot to get around this perimeter. The lack of water in the area is also a challenge. More than half a million gallons of water have been shuttled uphill since it started last Wednesday. National Guard aircraft dropped more than 63,000 gallons of water on the fire, mostly in a eucalyptus grove. I just want to acknowledge the concern that our community is having right now, the anxiety, the stress, uh, the reminders that people that trigger uh, people's memories and we want to make sure that uh, our community is aware of the help that's uh, available. There have been no mandatory evacuations, report of injuries or structural damages and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Chief Ventura is urging residents to remain vigilant because it's not over yet. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.